All right, guys, if you're here, you already know what we're trying to do. If you was following from the previous video, right, we're going to be doing the pre-clear. I think I said pre-checks in the previous videos, but just same thing. You all know what I was talking about. All right, so what we're going to do is you're going to go to apps, um, search for pre-clear. Uh, this comes up here. I've uh, used this before. So this application has additional requirements on the side devices installed, right? If I recall correctly, um, see... Uh, those one of my criticisms is that like some of the stuff on here on Unraid isn't really all that clear to tell you because when I read this unassigned, unassigned devices installed, this tells me up front that, oh, yeah, you know, you got to have hard drives that haven't been dedicated to an array yet. Right. Which if you guys, you know, was looking at my other video. Right. I have plenty of those that are unassigned. And also I'm going to go ahead and unassigned. Um, I would have unassigned these, but I've already pre-checked these in my previous tests, so I'm not going to do that. Um, I don't even see where you can even, oh, probably because I have these selected, I probably need to unassign them in order to unselect them. But yeah, I'm not going to do that. These, all the new ones, the three terabytes and not the one terabyte ones are what I need to pre-clear. And you, as you can see, but going back to my point, right, they're all unsigned. So I like, I'm like, I don't have no idea what it's talking about. But what it actually wants you to do is it actually wants you to search for unsigned devices. And here we go. Right. So I don't know unassigned devices pre-clear. Right. So this is what we was just looking at, um, which it needs this. It needs this installed in order to do it. I wonder if I, if I install this, it'll automatically install it. Yeah, it doesn't. OK, so I need to do this in order. So we'll do this, this, and then this. So let's go ahead. I wish they had a thing where you can just select multiple ones. All right, so this finished. So I'm going to go ahead and add the plus one. This plus one's new. I don't remember seeing that. And it's, it seems cool to get Apple and EX. Well, I'm really more interested in EX fat support. So, all right, get the EX fat support. And here we go. So now this should install it. As you can see, you see. Um, but like I said, you know. You're looking at it at face value. Then doesn't really, you know, doesn't really say it all that clear. Um, but uh, yeah, there we go. Right. So now it's there. Right. So now you can either go to it from here. You just click on actions and then settings, or you can go to. We're gonna go here to tools. It's on the tools, pre clear disk, and there you go. Right. It's only gonna show you all of the ones that are, um, unassigned. Right. And it's going to looks like it naturally filters out the SSDs as well, because I don't see any of the one terabyte um, drives I have, which are all SSDs. So what we're going to do now is we're going to. Can I just OK, I guess not. All right. We're going to start multiple sessions. Let me just clear disk. Only one cycle. Or do I need to hold the shift button? The, oh, I do have to. Can I just control A on? Oh, I can. I could do that too. Okay, yeah. So you just click one. So just click one. Control A, hide on them all, and um, yep, just leave that there. I'm going to just clear the disk, um, because they should all be empty anyway. I I don't I actually don't even know what clear disk and erasing clear disk would even be different because clear disk, obviously you're clearing the disk like you're you're writing to every sector on the hard drive to make sure that everything actually is like valid or at least every part of the hard drive works right. So I don't even know. The difference between those two, but sure. Uh, yeah, so clear disk. We're only gonna do one cycle, only need one cycle, and then we're gonna get started. So let's go ahead and get that started. Okay, is there and cool, they're all starting. Um, when I did my my four two terabyte hard drives, it took I want to say somewhere around eight hours. I did it like overnight. Um, oh, that's cool, it even shows you down here that is it's uh. It's doing, it's doing its thing. And they're going at about 150 megabytes a second. So that's cool. But um, yeah, so that's it. So this is how you, you pre-clear. Um, if I recall correctly, I should be able to, if I click on this. Yeah, you can click on this and this is how you'll be able to see um, where, how, how it's going. So that's it. All done, right? And then once it's done, right? Once it's uh complete, uh, we'll come, we'll we'll come right back to it, and we'll see what the log is. If I recall correctly, it just you know it just says hundred percent, and like you know you're good, no errors, <laughs> and that's that. So, yeah.
So we're going to go ahead and we'll stop the video here. And then once it's actually done, we'll start uh, recording again, show you guys what that looked like and wrap this up. All right, guys. And it just finished. Uh, so let's see. So I'm sorry. I was actually um, confused. I had got the time mixed up with something completely different when I said it was like 22 hours for the two terabytes. I was thinking about something else or somewhere around 20 hours, whatever I told you guys, because it definitely or eight hours. I think I told you guys like eight or 10 hours or something like that. Definitely wasn't the case. Right. So uh, as you can see here, um, this is the end. See, so this right here, pre clear total lapse time, 21 hours. All right. So because we started it when right? we started it, I think it was like one in the morning, two in the morning. Yeah, one thirty in the morning, uh, and then like I said, you know, it went through a uh, couple of steps here from the uh, pre-read, pre-read, which I think the pre-read alone takes a couple of hours, right there, like six hours, and then yeah, then it just starts uh, zeroing the disk, um, which is you know obviously the bulk of the time, and then it does a post-read, which then takes a couple of hours, uh, and yeah, so. And you see around, is that where it started? Yeah, it looks like that's when it started. So around, yeah, around the 21 hour mark is when they started completing uh, one at a time. Although I'm not sure what this part means. I might look into this later. Killing smart CTL. Anyway, but yeah, so we're looking at about, yeah, so almost one full day for uh, a couple of three terabyte hard drives. So that was fine. That was fun. So, and then obviously on the main menu or like the main tool section, right? Or for the pre clear disk, did you see that it says all the pre clears finished successfully? So, that is that. And so now the next thing we're going to get into is actually starting up um, our actual array configurations. Uh, and then after that, then we're going to get into like some specific applications, which I'm going to start with. Uh, Ubuntu, a containerized version of Ubuntu and running DaVinci Resolve. So that'll be fun. So with that being said, uh, as I said, this was quick and easy. You guys now know how to pre-clear your, your disk and have a general idea. I mean, for you, you big boys out there that got like 10 and 20 terabyte hard drives, uh, uh, good day to you. Cause those are, those will take, <laughs> those will definitely take quite a couple of days. Um, yeah, so we'll go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys for watching and definitely post any questions or any um, um, topics and stuff you guys want to see me cover or, or go over. Like I said, I'm still learning a lot. I like how Unraid is functioning and this side, but this being my first server build, it's a work in progress. So see you guys next time.